but why why do you fail every time we some of you attempt this nesias net exam for several times but even after that you are not able to qualify jrf or ls so today in this video i am going to show you or i am going to explain some of the probable reasons behind your failure okay so let's start the first reason which comes under this category is lack of practice so what we generally do we start preparing for our csi net exam uh, taking the syllabus and we read every each and every topic according to the syllabus we just practice uh, rigorous theory but we don't practice problem based on those theories we make short notes but we don't learn how to apply them in numerical problems that's the basic problem of not qualifying csir net because csir net requires so many problems to be solved so the basic key to success in this examination is to practice lot of problems before you enter into the examination hall so what we do we used to start practicing problems in the last one or two months before the exam and in that time we get so nervous and that nervousness reflects on your csr net exam result and one more thing which i would like to tell you that you don't practice the previous year problems uh, efficiently or completely you suppose you practice uh, four or five years of problems you solve them again and again but you don't cover all the previous year uh, previous year problems like from 2011 Uh, december to 2018 19 december okay you should solve each and every problem efficiently by by the word efficiently i want to mean that whenever you solve a problem you solve it in such a way that if another problem of the same type comes into your examination you can solve that and that's the benefit of solving previous year question paper so remember this thing that when you solve a previous year problem try to solve it efficiently reason number 2 only few number of mock test attempted no matter how good no matter how good your preparation is if you don't give enough number of mock test you will not be able to attempt your paper efficiently look what mock tests gives you it gives you a brief idea about your time management skill it gives you how much your preparation has been done and how much preparation you have to do Uh, in future in and you get an araf idea about your speed and accuracy also so if you give around uh, 10 mock tests in the last two months at least in the last two months or in the last half one and a half months if you give if you give around 10 mock tests in the interval of 3 days or 5 days then it will definitely benefit you and believe me that if you give 10 number of mock test efficiently without cheating then you will definitely crack jrf this is not that much hard so give enough number of mock test so this is second reason of your failure that you have not attempted enough number of mock test now number 3 the third reason is your failed at managing time so what we do in the examination hall we try to attempt at first part a then part b then part c or some of you may try part b first then part c then you go to part a so okay whatever you do it's your convenience and convenience but look whatever is strategy you take up while giving your mock test keep the same strategy at your examination hall don't change it at the at the time of your exam if you change it you will definitely be fail in almost 95% cases so prepare your own strategy and apply the same strategy at the day of exam don't change it suppose as i suggested you one of the strategy that you attempt uh, at first the part a and you take half half an hour then you attempt part b take around uh, one one hour then part c another hour another one hour and in the last half an hour you can mark your omr and you can try other questions if you can attempt okay that that is one of the strategy you can take up your strategy which suits you uh, but the problem is how do you know which strategy is best for you 
the solution is the mock test if you give mock test you will be able to know your potential you will be able to know the perfect strategy which is suiting you so try to give enough mock test so this is these three reasons are the major reasons behind your failure try to avoid these problems or these cause and try to improve this then you will de be definitely be successful now uh, at last my suggestion would be that aim keep your aim very high so many of you are uh, just want to crack jrf so you are targeting around 100 or 105 but i will tell you or i will suggest you try to target one, 150 or try to target to be uh, to bring a rank within 10 then what will happen you will definitely end up uh, with in bringing rank under 100 okay if your aim is low then you cannot make it a big a make your aim very high then you will achieve the lower end of you say that i'm not able to crack any competitive exams so for i my suggestion for those students will be that bring yourself into a level once you reach that level you will crack every exam no one can stop you from cracking any exam after that so try to achieve that level until and unless you don't reach to that level you will not be able to crack any exam and practice a lot start giving mock test two months before the exam or one and a half months before the exam and finally i would like to say try your best and just relax things will happen whatever it is destined to Read it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Okay, so all the best from my side and uh, thanks for watching.